three and a half years ago, I bought my very first ATM machine and I actually placed this machine inside of a liquor store right down the street from my house. I took all of the statements from my ATM machine and I added them up so that way you guys can see how much profit I made. So if we jump over here to my computer, I took all of the statements and I put them right here in this Google Doc. That way it's easier to see. Um, and this machine was placed inside of this liquor store on October 2018. And that first month it made about $405. And then as you can see every single month, it was around the same. Some months were higher and some months were a little lower. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here uh, where we see total, the total amount that I made from the surcharge, so the fee that I charge my customers for them to pull out cash, the fees that I made were $17,292. And that was over the course of three and a half years. All right, so how does the ATM business work? The ATM business works first by starting off over here on the left-hand side with our customer. So our customer, they're gonna walk up to our ATM and they're gonna put either their debit card or their credit card into our ATM machine. And in this case, our customer is going to request $20 from our ATM. Now our ATM is equipped with a 4G wireless box. This box is encrypted so that it can actually talk to our customer's bank in a very safe and secure way. And our ATM is gonna ask the customer's bank does she have money in her bank account and if she does have money in her bank account our customer's bank is going to send our bank the money dispensed plus a fee so in this case she's requesting twenty dollars so our machine is going to dispense that twenty dollars plus a three dollar fee and that comes out to a total of twenty three dollars so our customer's bank is sending our bank $23 in total. So that means we have a profit of roughly $3. So when that you know, whole transaction is complete, um, our customer's bank is gonna tell our ATM, yes, she does have money. And then our customer is gonna get that $20, walk away happy with you know, the money that she got. And that's the end of you know, that transaction. So over here on the bottom right-hand side, we have that profit of $3. So, you know, because we're smart, what we're going to do is we're going to keep that $3 inside of our bank account, but we're going to withdraw that $20 and then we're going to put that $20 back into the ATM to basically do this process over and over and over again. So if we have, say, 10 ATMs and they're all doing this 24-7, every single day all day long we can potentially make 10 20 thirty thousand dollars per month in pure profit just by dispensing money to our customers and collecting that small little fee so for me to buy this machine originally it cost me two thousand two hundred ish dollars so i purchased this machine i placed it in the liquor store i took my cash put it inside of my machine, whatever cash they pulled out, it would get sent to my bank account. And then I would take that money and I would just put it right back in the machine and I would basically recycle my money. Um, so really the only investment is that machine itself. So about $2,200 for that machine. And in the course of that time, it produced over $17,000. So you can't even get those returns in the stock market. You're only going to get 8%, 9%, 10% maybe even 12% if you're lucky. But by investing in ATM machines, I was actually able to do 17,292 divided by 2200 is what I used to purchase the machine. So I basically seven, almost eight X'd my money um, throughout this time period. And you cannot see those returns anywhere really. Um, not even in real estate, you're going to see returns like that. So this is just with one machine. But imagine if you have 10, 20, 30 machines and you build out that portfolio over the next couple of years, you can see similar returns to this. Now, I'm not saying every single ATM you have is going to perform like this. Some may be much higher and some may be a little lower. So I've had machines that do upwards of 800, 900, even a thousand dollars per month. But then I've also had some of those machines, you know, the machines in the barbershops and nail salons, those only produce 
like 100, 150 bucks for me. So if I have a machine in a lower performing location, like a barbershop or a nail salon, and I uh, one month goes by, two months goes by, and that machine isn't performing how I want it to perform, meaning it's not making over $300, $400 per month for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that location, I'm gonna unbolt my machine, then I'm gonna pick up my machine, and I'm gonna move it to a higher performing location, like a hotel, a liquor store, you know, marijuana dispensary, one of those locations because it produces a lot more surcharge revenue and that means there's going to be more money inside of my pocket at the end of the month. If you haven't started your ATM machine business yet, go ahead, click on this video right here because I'm going to explain the eight steps to starting your ATM machine business. That way you can go out, start place, buying and placing these machines at businesses all in your local area and you can start making some of this money. So that's all for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.